I just in kind of in starting to wrap up here because I could keep talking and talking. This is, I think tournaments are so fascinating and you've done such a good job there. It's, there's just a lot of advice that people can get when you're, if you were talking to someone that is um, thinking, Hey, I want to go start a tournament. This sounds interesting. I want to go start a tournament. You're not a big one. Just starting, starting out a tournament. What are, what are three things that you would tell them? What are three pieces of advice you'd say, make sure you do this, this, and this for them to have a better chance of success? What would you tell someone? I think the first one will be your community. You cannot do anything outside of your community. So before you, I mean, before you go out there or come out to say, I want to do this, you have to, you need to have done a um, significant amount of work in your community. You need to have a community, whatever that is. It doesn't have to be large numbers, but you need to ensure there's a community for the, for the game title that, that you want to go for. So here in, in this market, there's some, I mean, gamer isn't particularly like very strong with PC, PC games. And that's, I mean, it's one of the, of the titles that we are actively pushing right now and building community for. But as of today, we're not like, our numbers aren't crazy for PC gaming. However, what we've done, because partnerships are the core of what we do and collaboration, we know certain um, community or esports organizations that are strong when it comes to PC. So we leverage on that. So I, be, I, I think anyone who wants to start off need to, it's almost like KYC, like know your customer, know your audience, right? So your community is so important. You need to know your community and know that whatever game title you want to run as um, a tournament, right? Makes sense, right? It's what your community wants. It's what you have the numbers and the following for. I mean, it just really makes um, things easy, right? The second thing is when you, in setting your price pool, it has to be something that it's either your sponsor is paying or you have that money. And, and you made a brilliant point around just keeping that money aside because that really distorts the credibility of what you're trying to build. At Gamer, for instance, for every tournament you participate in, we have you sign a TNC, right? Of course, as part of the TNC, is a 14-day payout period, right? So you know that. 14 days, right, on or, or before the end of that, you get your money. So I think a lot of tournament organizers need to understand that, that credibility is all that. I mean, that if you want the community to trust you. You want them to, to, t to be able to take your word for it. So I think building that credibility, that brand trust is important. So when you say you're going to give out this price pool, ensure that you're giving it out at this time. And even if the money isn't going to like be paid at a certain time that you have set in your TNC, ensure to communicate with these people. Um, they're, gen they're mostly Gen Zs. They're not patient. <laughs> they're very quick to they're very quick to use the media, and that can hurt you as someone who is just starting. So I think that's also important. And I think lastly, lastly is to know. I mean. I mean, you have to understand that in the eSport business, right, in the eSport or gaming business, right, it's not particularly, it's not like a wildfire in terms of revenue. Um, it's something that has built over time. So when you're doing it, you have to ensure that you, you want to do it, right? You want to do it because um, you believe in, in it, right? And you see it. Um, it's, 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 it there's a, there is something I call delayed gratification, but you have to do the work. So you need to start um, and build consistently, build your community consistently, but you need to have it at the back of your mind that I'm doing this and it's delayed gratification. So it's not one of those industries you go into for quick wins or quick money or quick revenue and get out of it. So with the three points that I've made, in, with the three points that I have just made, I mean, having those three at the back of your mind, as a tournament organizer or building an esport organization, I think you will do just fine. 